thanks to technological advances, we have access to nearly all that knowledge on devices we carry in our pockets. Tonight, Vince gives a speech in which he encourages us and he shows us how to make a fortune in selling fraudulent products so with his speech, how to be a huckster for fun and profit. Have you ever thought of becoming a huckster? I have from time to time, but what about you? Never given it a thought, not even a passing thought. Maybe it's time to rethink. Maybe it's time to calibrate. P.T. Barnum, the great 19th century showman once said, there is a sucker born every minute. And by my recent count, there are about 1,440 minutes in a day, my fellow grifters, that there are a lot of suckers out there and a lot of opportunities for us. Tonight, I'm going to take you on a little journey. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes into the glittering world of hucksterism. You, yes, you, sitting right there, can become a practitioner of this ancient art of putting your well-greased hand into someone's pocket or purse and extracting a fortune. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. What are we selling? Before I can teach you the tricks of pseudoscience, you need to know what you're selling. But frankly, it's not really important what you sell because your real product is a four letter word, H-O-P-E, hope. We sell hope. For example, you wanna lose weight? There's hope and I can help. Reverse the, reverse the signs of aging? There's hope and I can help. Well, now that we know what we're selling, how do we sell it? Start with a celebrity endorsement. No one knows more about the science of vitamins or the biology of aging better than an actor or a reality TV personality. Are you kidding me? Trick number two, make claims that can't be proven wrong. Thing that I have used in the past that has worked really well. So we'll start with that one. It's, uh, it's a mousetrap. The third trick is overpromise, overpromise, overpromise. Customers love being overpromised. Voters do too. Just say anything to them. Um, it is the absolute best mouse trap ever invented, in my opinion. Um, it's been working great. I haven't heard a single mouse in here at night when I'm trying to sleep after I turn everything off. Uh, exaggerated claims that promise simple solutions to complex problems they're easy to sell what are you kidding me my fourth trick is be confident and have all the answers it works it's not a gimmick it flat out works and it works better than anything i've ever tried for keeping mice away but wait there's more so I liked it so much that I went back on Amazon and I bought a two pack and got two more. It works. It's not a gimmick. It flat out works. And so they trust you more than that pointy headed expert. We hate that. My fifth and final tr trick. Don't use data, tell stories. Okay, so how many of you guessed fireplace? They needed this this morning. Too bad I hadn't put it together yesterday. It was 64 degrees in here when I woke up this morning. We have huck we hucksters have something that's easier, cheaper, and more effective than scientific data. We have stories, customer testimonials, anecdotes. We specialize in that, don't we? 
if I were human, I believe my response would be go to hell. <laughs> <laughs>